Hello and we're back and here's five particularly interesting cameos by various people. So here we go with Mick Fleetwood in Star Trek The Next Generation. Mick Fleetwood, renowned for his role in the classic rock band Fleetwood Mac, made a brief appearance in an episode of Star Trek The Next Generation. And despite his minimal role and the use of an enormous prosthetic head that obscured his identity, Fleetwood took a step into the world of acting, stepping beyond his musical comfort zone. His appearance in the series was discreet, and without the credits at the end of the episode, one might not have even realised he was a part of it. During the initial seasons of The Next Generation, the show faced challenges and reached quite a low point with the clip show episode Shades of Grey in season 2. Early episodes often mirrored plots from the original series, but as the second season progressed, the series found its rhythm. Despite its rough start, The Next Generation was gaining traction with viewers, attracting individuals such as Mick Fleetwood, who sought to be a part of the burgeoning phenomenon. Although the particular episode featuring Fleetwood might not have been a standout one, his cameo is definitely worth a mention. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. It's continuing mission to explore strange new worlds. <gasps> it's so like my mother. Explain to her. I'm sorry they startled you, Mr. Troy. I retained his services despite the outlandishly lustful thoughts. I will not interfere with Mr. Holmes' duties this time. Elvira, or Elvira, however you want to say that, on the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Yes, Mario and Luigi were having an ordinary day until Luigi, in an attempt to cook pasta sauce, unwittingly stumbled upon a cursed recipe, as one does. How unfortunate. Concerned, Mario reached out to Elvira for assistance, and together they worked to undo the curse and restore Luigi to his normal state. However... Their efforts take an unexpected turn when Mario, in a moment of hunger, consumed the cursed pasta sauce himself. It's weird enough that Lou Albano is on this, but uh, here's Elvira, look. Uh. Paisanos, it's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show! The Curse of Salerno! It turns anyone who tastes it Why? into a foaming at the mouth, brainless zombie. Well, if anyone can help, Elvira can. Oh, joy. There's my first phone call now. Hello? Oh, I didn't know you had a band aid for a brother. Luigi! Are you in there? Uh. Luigi, mummy, lose your rap, turn back into a blithering sap. Robin Williams in Law and Order. Authority, the 17th episode of Law and Order Special Victims Unit's ninth season and the 200th overall episode originally aired in 2008 on NBC. In this episode, detectives Elliot Stabler and Olivia Benson investigate a caller who impersonates a police officer compelling people to commit criminal acts. The caller, audio engineer Merritt Rook, who is played by Robin Williams, harbours a deep-seated resentment towards authority due to a personal tragedy. Rook kidnaps Benson, prompting Stabler to face a harrowing choice to inflict pain on her or witness Rook doing so. The climax involves Rook holding Benson hostage in a soundproof room rigged with explosives. Ultimately, the explosive threat is revealed to be a ruse, and Rook is arrested, leaving behind a trail of suspense and terror. You take the east side, I'll go west. Yeah. Elliot, meet me at the West Staircase. Got it. You're under arrest for the murder of Dr. Francis Slifkin. Only this time you're not walking away. How was a sheep? Old Sparky could give out 2,450 volts to fry a convict. So this won't kill her, but it'll hurt. The Milgram experiment. You've done your homework. I'll put my face in a little gun in a white coat, and he killed my wife and son! 
Boris Johnson in East Enders. Yes, this pillock was in EastEnders. The BBC faced criticism for its decision to feature Boris Johnson on EastEnders shortly before the Conservative Party conference, sparking accusations of bias. Ken Livingstone, Johnson's Labour predecessor as London Mayor, pointed out the apparent shift in the BBC's stance, noting that his own requests to appear on the show were declined during his tenure. Sounds like sour grapes, doesn't it? Johnson's cameo, filmed at the Queen Vic pub with Peggy Mitchell, stirred controversy, raising questions about the BBC's impartiality. Not a programme that I watch anyway. Don't really care what they do on that. I'm going to have a pint of bitter. What's he doing here? Let's forget the drink. I've got to go. Honour to have you here, Mr. Mayor. Oh, please call me Boris. <laughs> Lucky for me that your bike got a puncher, isn't it? Now, I nearly went into politics myself, you know. Really? Well, if, if you have any ideas for how I could help Walford, here's my card. Oh, I wouldn't dream of telling the Mayor of London what to do. <laughs> Thank you so much. And finally, Prince Charles in Coronation Street. Yes, Prince Charles has made surprising cameo appearances over the years, showcasing his versatility. On the small screen, in a memorable moment from Coronation Street's 40th anniversary live episode in 2000, the then Prince Charles featured in a news bulletin. The footage depicted him meeting Weatherfield councillor Audrey Roberts, creating a buzz among characters in the soap. The visit coincided with the protest on the famous street, adding a touch of real-world relevance to the fictional world. Charles's interactions with the cast, including a stop at the Rover's return, were captured during his earlier visit to the Granada Studios. <laughs> oh no, we'll never hear the last of this. Oh, she looks lovely. I bet she loved it. <laughs> In another unexpected move, and here's a bonus one for you, Charles presented a special weather report during a visit to BBC Scotland's headquarters in 2012, which marked 60 years of BBC Scotland television. He surprised viewers with a brief weather forecast, and the introduction by presenter Sally Magnuson added to the humour of the occasion. Aha! There'll be snow for the higher ground of the Highlands and Aberdeenshire. Who the hell wrote this script? Uh, as the afternoon goes on. A little hazy sunshine for the castle of Maine, Caithness. But a cold day everywhere with temperatures of just 8 Celsius and a brisk northeasterly wind. And there you have it, there's five quite surprising cameos, I suppose is the title of the video, I don't know. Did I miss any out? There must be a lot of these. I find this pretty interesting, to be honest. You let me know in the comments if there's any you want to see. Like this video, please, and share it with your friends. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and all that good YouTube stuff. Bye for now.